Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lena and today I'll be creating DIY belt shelves. If you're curious in what I'm talking about, you can search it up in Pinterest and type in DIY belt shelves and you'll find many different examples. Here are the supplies that I will be using for this project. I have an old piece of wood that is about 36 inches long and 4 inches wide that I will be cutting just a little bit to get rid of these holes to use as the base of the shelf. And then I found these two belts at a resale shop for three bucks when originally it was 20 bucks each. And then a good pair of scissors to cut through the belt and to make holes as well as screws to mount it to the wall, a sharpie, and a measuring tape. But before we get started on this project, I really want to show you where I will be placing it to give you a before and after look of the wall. Here's the wall that I'm talking about. It's in the hallway towards the boys' bedrooms. And you can see our family photo is the only thing that's up. I think that the shelf will help bring it to life among other home decor things that I find. I went ahead and cut the belts down to the size that I want and that was 26 inches and as you can see it won't be too long of a strap hanging on the wall it'll look something like this remember in the beginning I wanted to get rid of this portion of the wood because of this hole I'm gonna use the miter saw to cut it gone. In the beginning I told you to use a scissor to try to make a hole into this belt but it's impossible without making it look crazy. So Andy suggested that I use a punch set tool or punch tool right and what you need is a hard surface so I'm gonna lay my belt on this vise here because it's pretty sturdy and then this punch tool will lay on where you've marked it and with a firm grip you want to take your hammer and hammer it. Okay, not there yet. Try again. And voila, there's a hole, yay. I am back at the wall and to get a good idea of where I'm gonna place the shelf, I'm using a stud finder and marked where I found some studs on both sides. Made my little mark, used the tape and just hope that is level. Instead of hoping that it's level, I went ahead and got my leveler and I think it's good. I'm placing this canvas and it looks straight. To get this particular screw onto the wall, I'll be using a hex bit that you see here, which gives me better control when um, placing pressure to it. Voila! 
I placed the wood into the straps and it looks amazing. It's time to decorate. One more time with the before shot. Here is the after. Here's a close look of the belts on the wall with everything in place. I think it looks fabulous. Goes good with the photo. There's a banner. One of the chairs that I made last week. Boots, hats, and a blanket. Oh, so cute. <laughs> Here's a wider view after decorations. So pretty. And there you have it, everyone. My lovely DIY belt shelf that I absolutely love. I also wanted to tell you that um, I filmed this over Memorial Day weekend with my whole family in town. And that is the reason why you hear background noise. Also, they were so excited that I was filming that they also wanted to do a take two of the outro. Um, and you'll see that shortly. But until next time, another project on the way soon. Bye. Thank you for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed the project. I filmed it during Memorial Day weekend. I have my family here behind me, my baby cousins. They all wanted to say hi. Hi. <laughs> dab on those haters. <laughs> he said dab on those haters. Make sure to like and subscribe down below. Thank you. Bye. bye. Now again. Rocky up. Rocky, Rocky up. up. Rocky. Here, I'll show Rocky. There's Rocky.